welcome to bisp solution and uh, today we are going to learn about the some of the features which are available in uh, uh, in fccs uh, which are started in fc in uh, fccs so in today's uh, uh, we are going to uh, know about the multi gap ad adjustment in the uh, fccs in the uh, fccs so so the so our today's topic is multi gap adjustment so what this uh, multi gap adjustment basically means we must first uh, uh, take a functional look about this uh, <coughs> gap what is uh, mean by uh, gap uh, the means uh, what does what does it mean so basically the or the meaning of the gap is a uh, is a generally accepted accounting principle generally accepted accounting principle principles so what does it uh, mean basically so the these are basically the accounting uh, principles set by each and every country and uh, they are supposed to uh, comply or to follow the uh, these standards and the procedures which are defined in them uh, in their gap so the gap here is a uh, is a country specific for each and every country is having their uh, their own gap all these uh, accounting uh, entities so <clears throat> so when it comes to more than one country generally a ifrs is applicable so the india will have a i gap indian uh, uh, i gap indian uh, generally accepted principles and uh, the <clears throat> us will have will be known as the us gap the us based companies are required to form the us gap and uh, there comes the concept of multi gap also so what this multi gap basically means uh, means uh, it is an uh, it is a requirement for a company to meet the gap required so the gap requirements of different countries so if you are following a, if you are working having a business in more than one country so you are supposed to uh, <clears throat> take the compliance to follow the to meet the requirement of different countries and to uh, pro pro present a, or to produce a, a financial statement as per the multi gap requirement so so these are basically the common set of uh, standards and procedures which are set by the different body uh, accounting bodies of different countries and the purpose here of it is to provide a consistent clear and comparable methods of uh, accounting and uh, they are required to uh, file the gap compliant um, they are required to uh, file the their financial statement as per the gap compliant so this will be the financial statements so they are required they are supposed to so they are required to file um, uh, financial statement as per the gap uh, gap requirement so so here the local gap means uh, the gap related to a particular country ifrs means the the accounting standard which are followed at the international level and the us gap here means uh, those which are uh, followed uh, in the 
uh, by the US GAAP company. So being a public company, so it is uh, mandatory for a, the, a public company to file uh, their financial statement as per the GAAP requirement. So this has become also functionally uh, from the uh, so this is uh, this is uh, I have, um, a brief concept about the functional gap, uh, function, functional knowledge about the gap. So when we come to this FCCS, so it has a, um, it is a uh, uh, configured in FC in Oracle FCCS in FCCS two. So. So it's a one of the dimensions which is available in the FCCS, which help us to uh, to, to generate our financial statement as per the <coughs> gap requirement. So this is the multi-gap requirement, and uh, we can see that FCCS IFRS elimination. We have local gap and we have this adjustment. So it is a one of the functionality available in the FCCS, which help us to uh, create to consolidate our financial statement as per the uh, different uh, gap requirement. Gap requirement. So this is uh, about this uh, uh, multi-gap. It is an uh, so it is an one of the optional dimension that is used for report your financial statement in gap as well as in uh, IFRS. So. So it uh, so what FCCS uh, multi gap uh, do it uh, tracks the local gap as well as the any adjustment which we pass to make it as a IFRS compliant. So if uh, any of the local gap has uh, to convert or have to be modified or have to make changes as per the IFRS, so with the help of this multi gap we can make adjustment and can um, present our financial statement accordingly. So, so under this, so the this multi-gap dimension is basically a optional one uh, in the FCCS. So while creating uh, application in the FCCS, we are supposed to uh, check this. Uh, have to select this as a dimension as one of the uh, dimension. Only then it will be available in our application. Otherwise, it will there will not be any uh, multi-gap dimensions available in our application see for this uh, for this application we can see for this multi gap reporting we have checked this as our as one of the dimension so it is available in our application and you can see we have two option here here one is the inter uh, adjustment and other one is the calculate adjustment so we are going to know about this both the inter adjustment and what is this calculate adjustment uh, the result with uh, both this approach are same but uh, the approach is different the approach which we take to arrive at the final, final figure of at IFRS is different so we have two approaches inter adjustment and calculate adjustment so this is one of our enable adjustment so this is inter adjustment means a manual adjustment we are going to uh, is applicable for this particular application one double one six seven zero so what does it do so multi gap in the application so under the manual adjustment or the um, calculate adjustment yeah this one entire adjustment so basically in this we have to select uh, this option to inter, inter gap adjustments as i said while creating application and in this we enter data into local gap member and adjustment to local gap are entered in the local adjustment member. the IFR, IF, ifrs amount will be created so basically what does it mean in this uh, under the uh, manual one we input data into the basically this one this 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 is the we input figures for local gap and in adjustment to calculate fccs ifrs and in the <coughs> calculate or the automatic adjustment we input figures for local gap and ifrs which automatically generate the adjustment adjustment so this this is the basic difference between these two manual and the automatic in the manual one we input uh, local gap and adjustment to arrive at if uh, fccs ifrs while uh, in the 
calculate adjustment we input figure for local gap and uh, in ifrs and adjustment is calculated automatically so <clears throat> so we we have made a uh, side by side a slide for this purpose so this is the manual one this is the automatically one so when we select this uh, the manual one the calculate um, so we what hierarchy we get we basically we get this hierarchy uh, under the multi gap uh, dimension or multi gap dimension uh, under iff uh, ifrs fccs underscore ifrs become the parent and local gap and adjustment are the children are the two children of it say for example let's see this into the application under the dimension we have this to multi gap see this one so here the ifrs fccs ifrs is the parent one and the local gap and the adjustment are its uh, both of them are its parent so though whatever we input in local gap and adjustment will be added up or rolled up to the if fccs ifr in case of adjust in case of manual one and in case of a uh, calculate uh, adjustment or automatic adjustment the fccs adjustment becomes the parent and fccs local gap and fccs ifrs become the uh, child of uh, this parent so we accordingly input the figure into this uh, application now we can see the difference between uh, here so this is the manual adjustment the manual calculation and this is the automatic or the calculate adjustment so under this ifrs is the parent and uh, local gap and adjustment is the uh children and uh, while for the automatic the adjustment becomes the parent and local gap and ifr is become its children so so this is the basic two, two different approach and so uh, as i said while creating application we are first we have to take this as one of our dimension uh if we do not tick as a considered as as a one of the dimension it will not be available in our application so for this application we have taken uh, as one of our dimension so for inter adjustment we are supposed to tick this one inter adjustment and for the calculate adjustment we are supposed to uh, check mark this uh, yes with calculated adjustment so when we check this one calculated adjustment so the application will be created with calculated adjustment it is with adjustment will become parent and local gap and ifrs will be there will be its children so what are the other basic difference uh, so what are the basic uh, changes or the difference between these two uh, approaches so in the manual so first one we have seen this one the ifrs and the in the hierarchy of the multi dimension multi gap or dimension the second one in this in the the in the local gap properties the console operator for this uh, under the manual one the console operator become addition while in case of uh, automatic adjustment to the calculate adjustment the plant type becomes subtraction automatically so these uh, properties were defined by the uh, application itself so this is the another the difference the main manual the fccs local gap member uh, console operator is addition and for this um, calculate adjust automatic it has become subtraction uh, coming on to the next uh, the difference the so this is for the fccs local gap now we will come to this the, the other two members which we are talking about this is the fcgs adjustment under the manual adjustment for the this one the fccs adjustment property becomes addition the console property plant type console operator become addition while in case of adjustment uh, calculate adjustment uh, in place of fccs adjustment fccs ifrs is uh, is the input member or the is uh, or the children and hence uh, it has its a uh, plant type becomes addition so this is the two basic difference under this manual one the ifrs i fccs if 
IFRS is the parent one and adjustment is the child, child one. So for and for this manual one, the adjustment is the parent and the IFRS is the uh, IFRS is the parent one. Sorry. So under this IFRS, so the console operator for both these two are addition for manual and for this adjustment. But the members become different. For manual, the adjustment of the child, the child is FCC as adjustment, and for the automatic, it is IFRS. And due to this, the, we get this result, this one, with the manual adjustment and the automatic adjustment. So with the help of manual adjustment, you can see uh, IFRS becomes the parent and local gap and adjustment are its uh, children and uh, we can input figure for in local gap and adjustment and accordingly it calculate the figure while in the automatic adjustment here the parent becomes the associate adjustment and local gap and IFRS become the child so we input the figure uh, accordingly if you can see this column uh, 1500 this is for bank city bank city so adjustment here is 1500 and uh, for this uh, uh, manual also it is 15 it is coming so the it's in the the other way out so as uh, we have seen this uh, screenshot or the ppt uh, we will just quickly do a uh, this exercise in the smart view itself so let's move on to the application first so this is the application which I have been using and uh, under this application I have uh, the uh, uh, let's see under the configuration we have this uh, um, enable as inter adjustment so, so adjustment is our multi gap reporting adjustment so I already have this uh, figure with me we will input some other figure for this purpose so this is the smart view which I have which I am going to connect with this uh, application so suppose this is my support file basically uh, I will just open my this smart view as we multi okay in the meanwhile what i will try to do i will just uh, uh, replace this application and uh, we'll try to create a new application in front of you and we'll do the manual uh, with the auto calculate adjustment so that we can see the uh, <coughs> the effect of the calculate also so uh, by the side we will just go to this one which is the tools under tools go to the migration and we will just delete this application So before that, uh, we must take a backup. Just uh, keep it as a. We just uh, take a download this backup first. Third twenty three thirty. Okay. So it has started downloading, and we will just remove this application from the overview option. We will just go and connect our application with this module, this one, multi two. Go to this panel, use this one, <coughs> the application, uh, 
just clear this sheet and content okay we will make a new uh, pov and entity for our learning purpose okay go to this one alter svg transform this one taking open when download okay go to this uh, <coughs> adjustment now we will see how that uh, uh, the adjustment local ad uh, adjustment multi cap to give its figure so i already have the dimensions with v and just refresh it Okay. Take some entity. We will take some other entity. Okay. Uh, let's say e underscore one zero two, and uh, we'll take the other member for this purpose. Now, so for this purpose, we will take bank city and copy this one. This has not yet been uh, activated, so let's go more zoom it. Zoom in this uh, FCCS IFRS. Now you can see we have two local gap and local gap adjustment as our multi gap <coughs> child for this IFRS. Okay, so we will just input the figure here and see how it uh, gives us the result at the adjustment level. So let's go to this. Let's use this figure. Just go and copy paste here and submit the data. Now you can see this is our FCCS IFRS member and this is our local gap and this is our the adjustment the adjustment we have uh, as we as we see under the adjustment manual adjustment we input figures in local gap and in in SCCS adjustment to calculate IFRS. So the, what we have done, we have input figure for local gap and adjustment. So we have inputted this figure for uh, 2500, 1500, 3200 and, and accordingly for other members also. And uh, as per our uh, requirement, the IFRS amount should be 4000. So we have made an adjustment of 1500 here to get the our our required ifrs member so accordingly we have done this for all other members also so say for example for this double four double zero double two bank related uh, member uh, the ifrs number is 2500 and uh, we already have as per our local gap say i gap we have figure 1500 so we have made an adjustment of 1000 so it makes our IFRS um, <coughs> required figure as 2005. So in this, you can see in the manual one, we make adjustment input figure local gap and in, adjust, and in adjustment to calculate the IFRS figure. This so this is the for the manual one. And in case of uh, Seven three. Okay, let's let's see. 
let's see whether this application is working fine or not. So let's go to this uh, overview and delete this application. Remove this application. Okay. While for the uh, adjustment one, the it's, it, it will be other way out. So here, what will be the uh, scenario? Here 4000 will be uh, this 2500 uh, uh, from this 4000 2500 local gap amount will be deducted to arrive at adjustment figure because when we um, because when we are working on this local gap and we are supposed to uh, make uh, present our adjust uh, our financial statement as per the financial uh, international accounting accounting record or the uh, as per IFRS. we have to make certain adjustment and that difference arises so we that the difference will take care in our fccs adjustment so the for in the automatic one the it will be the other way out calculated adjustment so now our application has now been received, uh, have been removed now. Now we will just quickly go and create the application. Another one. So this is our financial FCCS application. Create a new application. We will not migrate. We will just create a new one. So go to the start. So we have to give the an application name. So just uh, <coughs> give a name as uh, on this next one application for for calculated adjustment of multi gap go to the next one now we will just uh, create a 12 month application uh, starting from 2015 to 2025 for 10 years what will be the main currency? It will be my US dollar multi currency. Say yes. Go to the next tab. Now, this is the tab where we are supposed to uh, choose the option for multi gap that is yes, manual adjustment or with uh, no adjustment. If we take this, consider uh, check mark this multi gap as no, so then there will be no multi, multi gap dimension will not be available. And if we see with manual adjustment, which we have seen this one, this is the manual adjustment, <coughs> and the and uh, the result we have seen through manual adjustment. Now we will see the uh, the result with calculated adjustment. So we will just take this one. Besides all other uh, options, I will just uh, check the other option. So it will be a traditional balance sheet. Uh, CTA will be balance sheet local gap will be CTA uh, dimension let's say create a one dimension custom dimension as product translated so parent input just to enable it for our uh, <coughs> testing purpose consideration general just do it at yes inter company make it as a tracking we will um, take the inter company as our one of our dimension entity aggression keep it as addition include this one this one or these three ownership management yes and uh, include other option contribute just make it as enable so what we have uh, seen here is the uh, the multi gap adjustment so we have ticked as our multi gap adjustment and let's see take a screenshot of it screenshot For our <coughs> recording purpose, um, so we have considered here as the calculated adjustment. Just do it as a calculated adjustment. And move 
on to the next step so this is the preview of the uh, of the application which we are creating so just uh, go and create this application what are the other features so the under the multi gap you can see the under the multi gap uh, reporting it is coming here as calculated adjustment this one calculated adjustment go on to this application and just create the application so it will take some time to be uh, till then we just <coughs> go back to our uh, smart view sheet automatic adjustment so in the automatic it will be the other way around 1500 this one will take the same entity and the account for this for our practice purpose so the application is creating it will take some time so what we have <coughs> learned so this one this is this we have take one for this automatic purpose and the input the here in this fccs adjustment will be the will become parent and local gap and ifrs will be shared so the so the dimension in picture will look like this one for this multi gap purpose and uh, for this local gap the local gap uh, console operator will become the plant type this one uh, Will become subtraction. So the out of from IFRS it will be deducted. So this basically this property basically defines uh, what will be how it will roll up or how it will be added up to its parent. Since it's an uh, subtraction, so whatever we input in local gap will be subtracted when it will be rolled up to the to its parent. So for this purpose, the its uh, parent is a uh, adjust is. IFRS, this one. So it will be deducted. Its parent is adjustment, so it will be deducted from IFRS. Whatever we input for IFRS will be deducted. Uh, the amount uh, for the local gap amount will be deducted from IFRS and will be rolled up to the adjustment. Okay, so it is creating application. And uh, under the auto local gap will be the property will be the subst uh, subtraction, <coughs> and uh, here in place of adjustment, the IFRS will be one of its child, one of its member, and whose uh, property is basically the addition. And the ultimate result will look like this one. These two, the IFRS is four thousand minus. 2500 subtraction because it's a uh, console property is 2500 so 4000 minus 2500 it will become uh, 1500 accordingly the for other members are also it will be the same result so it is still enabling the feature and now you can see under this our existing application we have this inter adjustment inter adjustment as one of our uh, as our one of multi dimension Generally, the <coughs> when we enable the feature for this new application, it uh, takes some time to create. So now it has been created successfully. We we'll just click on this OK, and we'll see the application, the result of it. Now the name of the application is appear here, multi G double A, and we will just go to dimensions. Now you can under the multi day now this, see this one the multi gap is is appearing as our one of our 
damage. Now you can see the hierarchy has changed. For this FCCS adjustment has become the parent and local gap and IF local uh, FCCS local gap and IF uh, IFRS is become its children and the property for this local gap is subtraction as we explain as I as we see earlier and for IFRS it will be addition as uh, we do not have any sorry for the dimension we do not have any members in it so we will just quickly add some members to it and our though no metadata or no chart of account is available here so for adding this one we will just go to this uh, overview tab dimensions and we will just uh, import some of our uh, metadata import metadata uh, for this account purpose so this is the account metadata just click on this uh, validate the file is success successful now just to uh, import this one okay has been imported now let's quickly uh, add some members for entity dimension also uh, go to this entity meta click on this one validate this file it is showing successful and import one so and let's go to the job whether this has been imported successfully yes or no now you can see both the import metadata import metadata this is for the account one this is the, this is for the uh, for the entity one let's go on to the dimension and see our available members the entity under total geography now you can see this this we have added this complex so before importing this figure we are supposed to uh, refresh the database as we have added new member to this application for every new members we add or the metadata we add we are supposed to run the meta validate the uh, refresh the database so it has successfully <coughs> completed its uh, refresh now and we will just create take a application one another here manual say calculated adjustment so we will just uh, quickly <coughs> connect this with our application this is smart view we will import the figures for this one uh, the password login id and password there are no valid rows so go to this option tick tick this one ok and just click on this refresh button again can see the <coughs> data is available here so we will just take the same members here from here go to this calculated adjustment see <coughs> the figures <coughs> the members have been activated now you can see the uh, IFRS FCCS IFRS is one of our adjustment so just uh, zoom out take to adjustment and zoom in this one okay so we will take this members only as we have inputted uploaded this metadata calculate 
this one and refresh it. Now you can see as per our <coughs> uh, automatically calculated adjustment, adjustment has become the parent and local gap is and IFRS is become one of its child and we are supposed to input the figure accordingly. So for this IFRS purpose, what is the IFRS figure? We will just go here and just uh, for our sake of convenience, I will just uh, using this same figure and for this multi gap, local gap, this one. Now you can see the it has uh, <coughs> calculated the adjustment figure. So how it has done? So here 4000 less subtracting 2500. So it becomes 1500. So, so this is how uh, both this approach work. For the calculated adjustment, we have to input the IFRS figures, and uh, for the manual adjustment we are supposed to input the adjustment figure to arrive at the uh, IFRS figure and for the calculated one we may be having the IFRS figures but we are supposed to know what are the adjustment we have made so for that purpose we will be using this method this calculated adjustment method so this is the basic difference between these two uh, approaches of multi-gap dimensions so only we are required to uh, choose the multi-gap dimension, multi-gap as one of our dimension and when we choose this as one of our dimension, uh, we are supposed to uh, take the, take just a minute, we will have EVM default, the application configuration. Enable feature. So under enable feature, you can see under the multi-gap reporting, we have calculated adjustment. Okay. So I will just uh, keep it as a side-by-side you know, -side view. Okay. is the calculated one and for the this is our manual one. They enable functions. So this is the two basic difference. Here it is inter and uh, inter adjustment, and here it is the calculated adjustment. And let's. Uh, one another comparison as I explained in my <coughs> in this session go to dimension we will see the hierarchy of I, uh, the multi gap so this is the multi gap for the manual one IFRS mm. 
this is the mango and this is or other is the calculated go to this dimension multi cap so here the adjustment become the just see the different result so for this manual and calculated one delete this one so this is our calculated one the result of the calculated to identify it clearly do this for manual also this is the calculated one and this is the manual size so that we are able to see the figures for So this is the cap. So this is these are the uh, the of the the comparison of the output. So in this IFRS it is four thousand. So it is four thousand here also, and the adjustment here is fifteen hundred. So for this it is two thousand five hundred. So it is so there is no adjustment for this for this member. So this is how this these two both the approaches work. So we have made a comparison. So it changes our hierarchy. the hierarchy and the output and automatically changes the property of its member the axis is a local cap so so this is uh, all about this uh, multi cap adjustment how it uh, works and how it changes the it gives the same result with the two different option as per our requirement as per our the business requirement so so we just uh, conclude uh, our session here also we will meet again with some other topic with some other different topic um, hope you uh, and just hope you like this uh, topic and uh, for any query or questions you can always uh, reach out to us at our uh, website www.bsbsolutions.com 
and uh, you can have a we have uh, many more <coughs> such a uh, useful information knowledge based uh, videos on, uh, on our website youtube website you can <coughs> uh, have as access to all this one so with all this uh, i can do this uh, uh, session and uh, thank you very much